and good to see that she uh, looked comfortable walking away from that. Ilya Kovtun of Ukraine. Fourth best in qualification, 14.4. That would secure a bronze medal here. He works with such power on this piece. Particularly good at his work actually in the centre of the apparatus between the handles. Just had a small separation of the legs that he stabilised. He's close though, isn't he? Not got huge clearance. Oh, the legs just a little separated, but he's round, pirouetting nicely. Ukraine's Ilya Kovtun. Looking to get six. That is uh, Arta Davtian. Remarkable. It's a dramatic final. Fifth position for Ilya Kovtun, 14 point. Well, there are two to go. Yumin Abedini is the next. At the moment, you need 14.266 to get onto the podium, and that's what he got in qualification. He has got beautiful flares. Look at the height of the hips. That's dexterous gymnastics. forms the bulk of this uh, routine. Well, there we go. A different way of building an all-around national champion. He was sick in the all-around competition two days ago. Problems, the form breaks were key. Does this open the door for an unlikely contender in Radomir Slish? The 23-year-old from uh, Trinets in the far east of the Czech Republic on the Poland and Slovakian borders. He's very elegant, actually, on the pommel horse. He's got a lovely sequence of uh, vendor swings at the end. He's got good clearance, too, here. Heels are pretty well together. Toe point is not fully maintained. Have a deal with a little pike position. Good straight body as he switches from Magyar to Shivado. He's just fighting to maintain that clearance. But this is uh, big at the conclusion. He does get through cleanly. Radomir Slish. He won the Pommel Horse title easily at the National Championships. Vault. And Radomir of the Netherlands, the second best in qualification, 14.666. That is the leading score at the moment. He won the silver medal last year. So often he's been somebody who's not quite made it into the big finals. And he's a little piked early on. I think he's got beyond that. Oh! Well, sometimes you see the problems happening before they've happened with Pommel Horse and it looked like it was on the way based on his starting position but he's recovered so well and it's such a difficult routine the Woos well performed again he's lost the legs but he's got them back goodness he's fast though in his Magyar Shivado and he pirouettes round well. Difficulty-wise, it's very big. He's such an impressive young man, Lauren Demunke. He's a researcher in 
biology, having uh, graduated from the University of Applied Sciences. 16.266, he's just missed out. Matvey Petrov of uh, Albania. European champion from 2020, the first ever Albanian to win a medal at European Championship level. His score in qualification, 14.5, the third best. Started with quite compelling clearance. One of the straightest body positions we've seen thus far. Quite nice toe point as well. Now, this is going to be big. Oh, and he couldn't quite get there. Now he goes into the flares, and these are so well performed. He's got great hip height. I mean, isn't that terrific gymnastics from the 32-year-old? That really is... Didn't manage to complete the Busnari, so his difficulty will be down from qualification as well as the full mark for that unintentional dismount. Hugely strong. And unfortunately for full execution. Very fluid. Decent clearance, good straight line created with his body. So the fundamentals of his, his gymnastics are remarkably good. It's just so composed looking. Great hand placement, and he uh, dismounts with That's simply less clear. But it was well performed. 14.266 for Maxim Hentges of Belgium. European Championships, his first ever apparatus final. And he's come in with a score of 14.166. Clicks the heels to handstand. Nice height on his single arm work. Into the Busnari. Well, it came uh, out of the flares quickly. Slight sense of untidiness, perhaps, in the Bender Schwing. But he's got that back nicely for the Magyar Shivado combination. Just losing perhaps some of his sense of movement, but he's all right and he's performed that really nicely. What a great way. His brother Gilles, his inspiration for taking up the sport, he was uh, a very good gymnast as well. And I'm sure many of you remember that this... And into second place with 14.5. And now the coach of the world champion, Rhys McLennigan of Ireland, the top performer in qualification. The reigning world champion, 14.966. Beautifully into handstand, too open. Straight body, heels together, nice in the uh, bender swings on the uh, single pommel. Now into that very good sequence of uh, centralised bender swings in between the handles. Magyar Shivado combination is performed with real control. Now, can he keep the legs together there? That's where the problem has sometimes occurred. But he did that in qualification and still produced the top score. He's minimised the error. He's got into the pirouette. He's there, and it's still going to be a big score for Rhys McLennigan of Ireland. And it was 
virtually without incident. 16.666, it's good, it's a very good score.